Hey everybody, Crafting Journey here, that journey chick on Instagram. Couple of things to unbox for you, a little special one at the end. Yes, little surprise unboxing. This is from Dreamer Designs. Look how beautiful this is. It has a handle, so if you need to carry it, there you go. You can carry it wherever you need to go if you're going on a retreat. It has how to get in touch with Dreamer Designs. It has all of the features of the canvas on the back and what's included in the box and all of the steps to diamond painting. In case this is your first kit, you never know. So it did come in an outer box because I ordered two. So there were two that came at the same time in an outer box. So box is in perfect condition. And it's, of course, their classic purple and white that we always expect, expect from Dreamer Designs. And of course, it's a legally licensed image, which I always like to make sure of that as well. It has a thumbnail here on the end, which I don't want to show you right now because we're gonna, we're not telling you what's in the box yet. <laughs> but um, I do like that there's already a thumbnail here. So what's in the box? Oh, they still have this. I just love this. This beautiful bag that the painting comes in. I, it's been a while since I opened a Dreamer design. Probably about a year? No, it hasn't been that long. I don't know, maybe. I did a Chuck Penson last year from Dreamer Design, but it comes in this lovely little bag that's branded. It says Dreamer Designs on it. Isn't that gorgeous? A little telescope. Very cute. So in the bag we get the painting and it has this beautiful purple ribbon on it. And of course we have the drills or one bag of them I think. Is it more than one bag? There it is. And we have two bags of drills. And they are labeled the title of the painting and one of one, two of two. Yes. In case you store your drills separate from your painting, but there's no reason why I wouldn't just. There's no reason why I wouldn't just put this back in the box when I'm done. But let's check out the toolkit now. Has that changed at all since the last time? I opened a Dreamer Design Kit. Let's find out. I love the little bag. It's also branded. It's purple and white. The only thing that could make this better is if it was pink and white. Of course, you know me, I like pink and white. Purple's okay though, but look, branded Dreamer Designs. What's in the bag? Now, I really like this. They designed this toolkit with uh, a friend in mind. This is if you want to diamond paint with a friend, maybe your loved one, maybe a child, you know, maybe the two of you get together to diamond paint. So they'll give you two trays, two pens, two squishies, two things of wax that are also branded. So you got two pieces of wax. You get all these little baggies to put the diamonds in when you have leftovers after you've finished painting. They have these fat placers, which I just don't like. Um, this is a three placer. This is probably a five placer. Um, I don't care for them. The uh, One of the pins has a plastic tip. So you could give your friend the plastic tip and then you could take the three placer or you could keep the plastic tip and give them the three placer. And a straightener put on the end and it these used to be branded oh they are branded they still say dreamer designs these are the sharp ones nice very nice so all in all decent toolkit I, the only thing I would criticize is that nobody uses these placers anymore nobody that I know anyway I can't speak for everybody can I so let's put that away You get your friend over 
You guys sit down. You can start diamond painting, the two of you. Spread out the canvas. You get on one side, they get on the other. And you're done before you know it. Okay, we'll put this away as well. Off to the side. Let's look at the canvas. Now, I just do want to mention um, the outside of the canvas. It is, it has like a vinyl-y feel. It's not like a soft lint, um, but it does have the uh, serrated edges so that it prevents spraying. It does have this beautiful, um, I call it a schematic, but it is showing 63 colors. Oh my word. So there are 63 colors in this painting. And I'll give you a close-up of that as well. So we are gonna to have to roll it the other way. And it's okay because this is poured glue. You can roll it the other way and it will not damage the canvas. And this just helps it relax a little bit. Uh-oh, look what's in here. Look what's in here. As we're unrolling it, you can see that the schematic is in the upper left, and as I showed you before, the lower right. So you have it on both sides of the painting. It's rolled around this foam roller, and we get a schematic sticker sheet. Look at that. All 63 colors right there. The only thing you gotta do, only thing you have to do is cut it, cut each one individually, put it on your storage container. And we have a sheet that you can also tells you how to diamond paint. It also gives you all of the social media information for Dreamer Designs. Now I will tell you that down in the description is a link to Dreamer Designs. Um, I am an affiliate. There is a code that you can use that you can get 15% off of your purchases. So, and I do make a little bit of money on those uh, purchases when you use the link. Look at this, guys. It's the, it's called the cottage, country cottage. It's a country cottage as opposed to like a cottage in the city, I guess. Where else would you have a cottage except in the country? This is where I would dream to live. Look at the mountains in the background. There's probably like a ski lift that takes you up and you can go down these mountains. Look at the mountain. Look at those trails that you can see in the mountains. Oh my God, gorgeous. Look at all the animals in the background. There's, there's little animals in the background. So cute. Horses, look guys, horses, do you see them? Look, there's some there, there's some there. Those are probably cows right there. Let me see, I'm gonna turn it around so I can take a look up here and see what else, what, are, what other goodies we have. So we've got this fence that goes around the front or a hedge. So horses, cows, the greenery, I'm loving the mountain scenery in the background. This is by Richard Burns. This is legally licensed artwork from Richard Burns. I love the fact that there are 63 colors. There are one, uh, where are they? Three Aurora Borealis, three ABs that come with this. And that is a resin diamond with an iridescent coating. Yes, it makes it sparkle, extra sparkly. We're gonna look at the diamonds. I'm gonna let you look at the painting while I get the diamonds out. So pretty. Look at the water in the background there. So beautiful. What's over here? This is, what, I think that's just some trees in the background there. Yeah, really nice. Don't you wanna live there? Oh, look at that. You just walk up and you walk into your house. You put a fire in the fireplace. Nice, nice. Is this clothes on a clothesline here? That's not gonna happen. No, not with me. Uh -oh, we're not doing laundry. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh my gosh. So. These are gorgeous. Oh, the colors, so pretty. I'm trying 
trying to see if I can readily identify the Aurora Borealis, and I cannot, so we're gonna have to take them out. I've taken all the diamonds out. The Aurora Borealis are the, there's three of them. One is this white, and I will put pictures up here. This is the white. Then you have two other colors, this blue, and you get two bags of this beautiful blue. And then you have a smattering of green here. But you know what, guys? These are square diamonds. You can add square diamonds that you can get at Diamond Painting Drills, where I am also an affiliate. Check out Diamond Painting Drills down in the description where you can adore order additional Aurora Borealis or crystals or glow in the darks, whatever you want. Make this painting your own. Go crazy. Um, yeah, just follow the link in the description down to Diamond Painting Drills and check out their site. Um, I will also show you an up close of each of these diamonds so you can see them up close. But I wanted to tell you that historically when I've done a Dreamer Design painting, there has been a complaint that the symbols are fuzzy. Now, I am not seeing anything that I think is fuzzy. Traditionally, that's been when they have a white symbol on a white background. Now, I want to look at the symbols. So I am looking at the symbols and uh, on the schematic that is on the side. Um, there is a the 61, which is a zero, but it's a black zero on a white background. I'm not seeing any white symbols on a dark back, uh, on a light background. I see white symbols on a dark background, but I do not see any white symbols on a light background, which was which really traditionally has been the issue with the fuzziness. So I'm thinking that they have addressed this problem. The canvas, of course, like I said, it is poured glue. It is very sticky. These are absolutely gorgeous. These diamonds look absolutely beautiful. I don't see a lot of um, knobbly bits, misshapen drills. They look pretty good. The only bit of 310 that you're getting is right here. This is one package of 310. The rest of this is blues and greens and a smattering of pink. So I'm okay with that. We got a little pink thrown in, but absolutely gorgeous colors. Some browns. What is this color? This is... 934 which is like a slate color that's an interesting color we've also got like up in the mountains where you're going to put the 3756 like a snow color up in the mountains so really really a beautiful canvas guys um i will do part two in the next video but let me show you what else i have to unbox for you so i have been off criticized as probably the only crafter on YouTube who's never owned a glue gun. Well, guess what, guys? I got a glue gun. Yes, I finally bit the bullet and got a glue gun. Now, this was sent to me um, by the manufacturer to unbox on the channel. Um, so I did not have to pay for it. Um, I've never had a glue gun. I don't have anything to compare it to, but I will say First, first of all, the box was much smaller than I anticipated. When I saw the picture of what I was ordering, they sent, they sent the money into my PayPal account and then I made the purchase off of Amazon of this um, device. It's Monvict, M-O-N-V-I-C-T, 40 watt glue gun. It is much smaller. Now I went to Harbor Freight to pick up a little, you know, some, some other stuff. Um, and I looked at their glue guns, and a glue gun this size would not be this price. So um, the price that was paid for this was $21.99 plus the tax on it. Um, for $21.99 at Harbor Freight, you can get a much larger glue gun than this. 
So I don't know that, you know, that's really an advantage. It does have a nice little stand that you can put it on. You know, I'm just happy to have a glue gun. <laughs> so uh, I know my sister, she's living here with me. She does a lot of crafting, so maybe she will find it useful. Um, hmm. Seems like it would go this way, right? And then you would put it, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know. Does it sit like this? I don't know. It's plugged in. How are you going to put it in there? Oh, I see. Oh, I see, said the blind man. Oh, look, it's got little suction cups on the bottom. That's, that is very useful. So it's not going to slide all over your desk because it's got these four little suction cups. I like that. So yes, it goes like that and sits in the, sits in the little holder. So I will say that I don't know, I didn't really look that closely at the ones at Harbor Freight. I don't know that they had these holders, but this is nice. It has a little holder. It plugs in, it comes with the instructions on how to use it. Um, I'm not sure what where this is supposed to go. There's a little uh, miscellaneous piece here. Let's see if we can identify what that might be. Hmm. What could that be? I don't want to get rid of it because <laughs> I don't um, know what it is, what it's for. I don't see it on the glue gun. All right. So we have like an extra piece to this glue gun. Don't know where it goes, but we will save it. And then it came with all of this glue. Um, 30 different sticks of glue, including some glitter ones. Look, we've got yellow, red, green, pink glitter. Oh, that is kind of cool. And there's a blue one in here. Some, a couple of blues. So if you want to use colored glitter, you can, or you can just use the plain blue. I'm so excited. I've never had a glue gun. So I guess this is what do you do with, with colored glue? I don't know. I guess it'll make a cool, like, I guess if you're doing Christmas ornaments or something, you could do a colored glue. Anyway, all right, we'll put this little piece that we don't know what it is back in the box. I, yeah, I just don't see that piece anywhere here on the picture that's on the instructions, nor do I see it within the instructions. But so I have a glue gun, guys. I finally, it plugs in, heats up, nice little device. Um, so I am very happy that they sent it to me. I will try it out. I'll let you know how, you know, either me or my sister will try it out and I'll let you know how it goes. Um, but yeah, I now am a crafter with a glue gun, yes. <laughs> I will put a link down in the description where you can purchase uh, one of these devices yourself should you choose to. I, I, I just cannot say um, not having ever owned a glue gun, whether this is uh, whether good, bad, or indifferent, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't have anything to compare it to, but I have a Movict glue gun in a small size. Now, my sister said the tip is not as small as uh, some tips that you can get. Uh, so it's just kind of a, like a regular tip. And I don't know if you can get any other tips to put on this one. So I have no idea. So check that out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.